All right, guys, this is a ridiculous one. Seems funny. Megan goes bananas. She's signing bananas. She's changing charities as per usual. Thank you so much, Allison. You had some great recommendations. And let's start with this one. Oh, Harry's out. And there she is. Hey, she didn't shake hands first. Didn't jump. <laughs> Come in. This is what happens when as per every single thing they do that is to help people, whether it's the Invictus Games, whether it's a charity, the volunteers, the athletes, that's all they are. They don't really give their names. The documentary is not about the actual thing, it's just them to be there and everything else is basically a prop. We pack up the van, it happens every weeknight, so a group of volunteers and staff members pack up a van to take out, um, we'll show you it in just a minute, so mm. Suni is going to talk you through that. So what's happening here is they're showing Megan how to do the job for real, because you actually need to get work done. These people actually need the food and Megan's going to put her own twist on it because she can't just do a job. She always has to be a genius who's going to change things and make it better. Normally, she it's that whatever donations are are not good enough. They need to have fancier clothes, they need notes, whatever, rather than actually getting things done. And again, the fact that they go to all these things once, it's obviously a PR tour. How does that help anybody? Just visiting does nothing. Drink um, two pieces. So they're doing a real job. Megan's there like, ooh, what what can I do that'll make me shine? Which we'll see. Oh, she's riding on the banana. Thank you so much. This so this is going to take about double or triple the time as it would to simply actually just pack the lunches. So she comes in, she keeps doing this with charities and for me that's the thing I notice over and over. Everything she does, she views it as everyone's incompetent before, before her and she's a genius and she's going to come and change it and make it better. Um, which is just, even if one was a genius, the people who are on the ground doing something know better than someone who just goes in there. It's just a massive ego. Aww. So, so now you're going to have Sharpie all over your food, right? Like, there's a muffin right there. The, everything's in the bag together. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> but it was just that safe space she'd been sat in a church doorway trying to get warm, mm -hmm. trying to... Oh, I, I wish we could hear better what that woman's saying, like, Megan's expressions. I don't know what to make of it right now. And how, and how many of these women are operating sort of by themselves compared to the ones that have been forced out by their other hops? What is Harry even saying? He always looks pretty out of it. Uh, is Megan picking her nose? She looks, uh, Megan's looking much tenser as she walks out. Do you notice that? Looks very cold. I think she doesn't like something there. Maybe she wanted more camera time. Anyways, thank you so much, Allison. Thank you everybody for watching. Comment and like it. And subscribe.